the little like you know Eiffel Tower and uh, hourglass. Yeah, he's got and, a little train. You know? It's just like a lot of weird, random, unique things that I like. But my favorite part by far is the monkey. You know, um, very famous monkey. We've seen the monkey in tons of different places. Philip DeFranco. You know, he uses it. Uh, well, he used to use it. We've seen po- uh, posters of that monkey all over the place. But goddamn, that is an awesome piece of artwork. Uh, I really. And I don't say this often. I actually really like how you utilize the wall space. And it's very hard because the windows. Yeah. The placement of them makes it very tight. That art piece is like the perfect size. It's not too high up. It's not too low down. The shelves off to the left. Just a, a good job there. So good job with that. But the actual setup portion, you know, I, I definitely have a lot to say. I think the first and most obvious thing is that it's super cramped. Um, there's really no rhyme or reason to what you're doing it's just kind of like right there into the middle so uh you know between the fake plant and the yeti being right up against it with the speakers literally touching the monitors and you have the pop vinyls and this that and the other it just seems like everything is way too close so you have a big desk why not you know space things out when you're not using the yeti put it off into the corner that would look nice uh when you do get your new microphone get an an arm that way you can bring it on and off in and out uh you know up and down up and down all around uh and that's what you got to do with that because having it right there you know it's not awful if you're actually using it um but for the photo just to make it look nice i would have put that in the corner along with the fake plant which yeah, you know, whatever. Where um, would you put the arm uh, for the mic? Well, with this desk, it kind of blows, but with that piece that comes off on the left side, he could actually, uh, that's really, I think, the only spot he can do it without having it in an annoying spot. Yeah, okay. Because I think that back p- uh, part isn't really. Yeah, I think it's solid in the back. Yeah. yeah. Um, so there you go. Uh, but, you know, getting that aside helps a lot. Spacing out the speakers is ideal. If you're going to get the audio engine A2 pluses, then you got to put them on uh, isolation pads. You got to put them on um, just something to kind of make it look a little bit nicer, help with that sound, uh, but also space it out. If you get those speakers and put them right up against the monitor, it's not only going to be stupid looking. It's just going to be like, why? Why even get those if you're just going to like right up in your face you know what i mean so definitely spread them out get that nice beautiful sound i have the audio engine a2 pluses and they are pretty damn sexy uh and then i you know i don't know if you actually care but i feel like a mouse pad would just uh, be so much more satisfying and another pop of color with the leds and all that yeah. you know something. yeah because otherwise touch. you're just going up against uh i don't know it's uh, black on black on black and you're just using the mouse on that surface is not fun for me but it's personal preference uh but as far as everything else i mean there's not a lot to it the the wire management isn't like a 10 out of 10, but it's also not terrible. Like that shot's great. Um, but the first shot that we see, yeah, that, um, you know, I'm seeing like out of the speaker, this, that, and the other, but again, it's a laptop. Do I recommend putting your monitor on top of the laptop? (laughs) That's a whole nother story. Uh, (laughs) and (laughs) the thing I don't get about it now, I don't know. He didn't say anything about taking his laptop on the go. No. So I don't think he does that. So my question is why do that? specifically why not hide the laptop utilize it so the cable management's going to be even easier and it's also going to look nicer and also you'll get longevity out of the laptop rather than suffocating it um and putting maybe all just this... wants to elevate his monitor and that's the only thing that he knows yeah that that's keep it. terrible excuse see tom's always the nice guy <laughs> so what do you do you get like a monitor mount to make it because it seems like he wants it higher if than he wants it higher it uh you get a little piece of wood that goes higher, you know, like how people build like the three little pieces. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know, maybe a, a arm, maybe a wall mount, maybe just not your laptop. The, anything other than your laptop would probably probably be uh, a good idea. Uh, plus, he does have that under slot on his desk. He could technically put the laptop under there. All the cables are there, very easy to manage. And then whatever is necessary, like for instance, the monitor cable will just come out of that nice little open hole and bada bing, bada boom, you know? I like, but I like the setup. You know, it's it's yeah. a little bit different. The, like you said, theme is. I think the walls are utilized perfectly. Theme is like probably a nine out of ten for me. So yeah, I mean, he's got a lot to work with, a lot of potential, and we'll see how it goes. Yeah. Next up. Episode-